So, I've been meaning to do a lip sync tutorial for a while, an in-depth one, instead of just tacking it into other tutorials that I've done. I want to address the methods for lip syncing as well as the principles behind it. Lip syncing is relatively easy to do. Talk is cheap. You don't have to really animate the character doing much when you can have them talking more of the time. It kind of takes the place of actions. First things first, I'm going to cover the methods you can use to do lip syncing. First up, you need to make your mouths. If you're going to use pre-rendered mouths, you can use them with either hand-drawn animation or with a rigged animation, but they're mostly used with rigs. You're going to want to make all the different mouth shapes that you're going to use ultimately in your animation. This can vary from a few to very many, depending on what shapes and what poses you want to do. By default, Western animation typically uses between seven to eight different poses for the mouths. They use A, E, E, O, R, V, L, and then the closed mouth, or M slash P. Eastern animation, however, tries to use fewer. They'll typically only use the A sounds, the E sounds, the O sounds, and then of course the closed mouth. On top of having these pre-built mouth shapes, you also have various sizes of each one, as demonstrated here. And then you also have additional frowning mouths. You can do as many different expressions as you want, but most people will opt to do just smiling mouths and then frowning mouths. What you want to do is you want to draw all your mouths inside a single symbol and make sure every single frame is a different mouth shape. It helps to do a consistent order for them. It's not mandatory. Just as long as you have each different mouth shape and different size on a different frame. It is possible to do lip syncing without audio. However, for learning, it's a lot easier to match your animation to your audio. Eventually you'll learn how to do lip syncing without any audio immediately, which is actually how Eastern companies usually wind up doing their lip syncing. They'll do the animation first and then dub over it, which is why they also use fewer mouth shapes. In order to sync, you want to make sure that your mouth symbol is set to graphic symbol and is set to single frame. What you'll do is you'll cycle between different frames to match different mouth shapes to different audio cues. The audio will need to be set to stream so that way it plays as you scrub through the timeline. Before people get any plugins, usually the first way that they try lip syncing is doing it by hand. So the way most people will start lip syncing is kind of a sloppy method. I have an example going right here that I have sped up just because this is very inefficient. What you do is you put your mouths on the timeline and then when you find a instance of where you want to put a new syllable, you press F6 to make a new keyframe. And then you have to do the tedious task of cycling through what your display frame is while it's in single frame mode you have to try and figure out which mouth shape you're looking for. And this is just a lot of guesswork. It's very back and forth. It's very tedious, very inefficient, and a lot of steps. This is a very painful way to lip sync. This took, I've only gotten about a third of the way through here, and it took me a grand total of one minute and 40 seconds for literally less than a second of dialogue. That's painful. Method two that you can use for lip syncing still doesn't need any plugins. It requires a little bit of setup, but it actually works fairly well, even considered that you don't have any plugins to help you with this. It's still blown out of the water by Keyframe Caddy. What you do is you make multiple copies of your mouth symbol on a workspace layer, or something like that, or even a guide layer. Make sure that each instance is a different mouth shape. You don't have to use all variations of the mouth shape. You can use just the core ones if you want, like I'm using just the core ones here, and I'll add in the custom ones and the variations later but you basically make copies of the shapes that you intend to use. When you're ready to start lip syncing, you make a new layer and you take the instance of the mouth shape that you want to use for that syllable and you paste it up there. You then make a new blank keyframe for the next iteration of a syllable, copy paste the new mouth shape that you want and paste it around where the old one was. It helps to use onion skinning for this to line it up. You can also add in variations if you have different variations that aren't currently displayed. This is why it helps to keep things in order. So yeah, to do one second of lip syncing here, this only took me about a minute. So it's a lot faster than doing it in method one. Still not very efficient though, we can do better. The best way by far, however, to lip sync is to use Keyframe Caddy. What you do is you select your symbol and then load it into Keyframe Caddy by clicking the Load Graphic button. It will display a visual icon for every single mouth shape that you have. Similarly, the plugin Frame View also works this way. You can then click these icons and it will make a new keyframe set to the fr corresponding frame number. The big advantage of this is you're using visual references rather than just the numbers for grabbing the corresponding mouths you need. If you're doing method one, you have to press F6, then take your mouse and click the frame number, enter in what you assume that you're after, and then you have to click away or click enter to visually confirm that you have selected the right symbol. And even then, you usually are inaccurate. 
That's five actions just for the instance of one sync. And it's a lot of guesswork as well. Keyframe Caddy, however, you're able to visually confirm what shape you want first before you do anything else. And then all you have to do is click the icon that you want. You know it will be accurate and it will display the mouth shape that you're looking for. This is also only two actions, which is significantly less at work than doing it method one, and it also involves significantly less guesswork. So those are the basic mechanics and tools used for lip syncing. That should be enough to get you started, but I have another tutorial coming up very soon that'll be about the principles behind lip syncing and how to basically make your lip syncing look better, as well as how to make your lip syncing more organized. 